Linda Fields. I'm the Director of Economic Development for the City of Plainfield. Welcome to another celebration of how Plainfield is transforming for the better. When you walk around outside, particularly on the deck, which the sunset alone is amazing as one of the amenities, you're going to see that it says that life is better here at City's Village. We know you meant to say life is better here in Plainfield, so we're going to forgive you for that one. <laughs> so this is an example of how our over billion dollars in development is going to continue, not just for the past 10 years, but the next 10 years to come. What you're going to see here is that we're developing around our transit-oriented development near Plainfield Station. You've seen a lot of our developments near Netherwood, but this is the first one that's coming near Plainfield Station. You're also going to see beyond the 131 units that are here, we have over 2,000 square feet of commercial that are just within walking distance of other amenities right next to downtown, right next to Union County College, and we hope to develop another entertainment area over here. We want to thank the Romani Group for partnering with the city not just with this 131 units, but they have another 1,000 units to come. This is truly going to be a transformational hub. You're going to be able to see a balance of outdoor recreation space. You're going to be able to see a social hub for gathering. I mean, that's like a rooftop garden in New York City out there right now. But you're going to see some of the dining options. You're going to see the terrace. It's truly going to be a key activity hub to live, work, play, shop, and gather. So the city would like to extend a special thank you to the Romani Group, specifically here in Romani, because this is definitely his vision. He said, this is going to be my legacy project. I get to see every time we meet. We also have our partnership with J. William Henry, with the Romani Group, making sure that we have the community connection here at City Village. So what we're going to see to come over the next few years, because there are actually six phases to this project to come, still to be approved, we're going to have a communal park, a pickleball court, a basketball hoops, a pet spa, because I have a dog, I want to see a pet spa. <laughs> then we also have a gaming lounge and much more in terms of dining options in that potential. So as we continue to partner with Romani Investment Group, we hope you continue to see the city as a resource. I just want to identify some of the resources here because we know that this is a team effort. So with economic development, I know you've had contacts with some of our folks. So Maximo Vasquez, I can't see you right now. <laughs> oh, Our Urban Enterprise Zone Coordinator, Jeanette Aparicio. Yeah. Drew Doman, our finance person over in economic development. And of course, we have other members of the cabinet that extend our team. So communications, you helped us get the word out. The press Absolutely. release looked fantastic. Led by our chief of staff and director of communications and IT, Jazz Clayton Hunt. Thank you to our Department of Public Works for always making sure that we have everything set up. Our Director of Public Works, Jane um, Oren K. Dabney. I know he's here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> then we also have other members. We have our Director of Fire, Kenneth Childress. Our Director of Finance, we have Beverly Morris Gill. Our Director of Police, we have James Abney. I think I also saw our Director of the Utility, John Luis. <laughs> Did I miss anyone that's here? And I also know, just want to point out, but I'm sure our council president, our chair of our planning board that made sure we got all this through, wow. Ron Scott Bay. 
So now that we've identified the resources and we think where do we go from here to continue the vision of our transformation for a better playing field, please allow me to introduce the Honorable Mayor Adrian O'Mac. Well, good afternoon to our distinguished guests partners of the Romani group and members of the community and everyone who has played a part in bringing the vision of City Village at Heritage in Plainfield to life. This has been a long time coming. And as I get through these remarks and then as I begin to add leave you'll hear more from me and how I feel about what is happening in our wonderful city. And so before I go any further, I just want to introduce the better half of me, our First Lady, Amelia. So today marks not just the opening of a new housing development, but a significant step forward in the ongoing transformation of our beloved city of Plainfield. A decade ago, the housing options in the city were very limited. And the dream of providing diverse, luxurious, yet accessible living spaces seemed very distant. But look at where we are. Look at how we stand here today, witnessing the revitalization of that dream. City Village at the Heritage will be more than just a collection of buildings. It's a testament to what we can achieve when we commit to growth and inclusivity. This development offers a variety of housing options, catering to the diverse needs of our residents. Everyone in Plainfield deserves access to high quality living spaces. And City Village at the Heritage sets a new standard for what our community can and should expect. It will be, when finished, a city within a city. And the amenities available here are unparalleled. A clear indication that the Romani group agrees that our residents deserve nothing but the very best. From, start of, from state of the art fitness centers to communal spaces, that foster connections, every aspect of City Village has been designed with the well-being and satisfaction of residents in mind. This speaks to the Romani Group's commitment to being a part of transformative change. And we are gratified that they chose to partner with Plainfield and to be a part of the renaissance that we have all been witnessing. Reflecting on the past decade, the transformation in Plainfield had been nothing short of remarkable. This change didn't happen by chance. It was the result of intentional, strategic planning and a strong partnership between the city and visionary developers like the Romani Group. Together, we have worked tirelessly to ensure that our city's growth aligns with the needs and aspirations of our community. As we cut the ribbon today, we are not just opening a new development. We are ushering in a new era for Plainfield, an era characterized by collaboration, cultural diversity, and a shared vision for a future that is much brighter and better. City Village stands as a beacon of this new era, era, symbolizing our commitment to enhancing the quality of life for every resident of Plainfield. I, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone who contributed to making City Village a reality. Your dedication and belief in our city's potential have been instrumental in reaching this milestone. So we want to work to continue together hand in hand 
to write the next chapter of Plainfield's future. I don't have to tell those of you who are familiar with Plainfield, who have lived here for a long time, or who have been visiting Plainfield for a long time. The Plainfield that you see today is not the Plainfield that existed 10 or so years ago. We had such difficulty attracting developers like the Romani Group and so many of the other developers that are doing business here today. And that was so because of the leadership or lack thereof. It was so because we did not do a decent job marketing and promoting our city. It was so because people didn't feel safe it was so because investors chose to pass us by and go to the surrounding towns. I had a developer who said to me, Mayor, we invest not only in spaces and places, but we invest in leadership. And so I came into office with a vision. And what you have seen happening in Plainfield has not been by accident. It's been intentional. Everything that you see we do here, my administration in partnership with so many others, everything has been intentional. And so we have been able to spread the word about Plainfield to the investment community. We have cut crime significantly to the point where you feel safe across our entire city. Crime is down by well over 54% and continuing on that downward spiral. We have created spaces across the city for recreational purposes, and we are doing what we need to do to make sure that Plainfield continues to be a beacon that would draw developers, investors into our city. And right here at City Village, in the heart of our downtown, you can see the opportunities and based on the vision of the, of the Romani Group, in a matter of a few more years, this entire neighborhood is going to be transformed. You've heard about a city within a city. That's what you're going to come here and be able to see. And so we are not competing with any of our neighbors. We are competing with ourselves. We want to make sure that we set a standard that others would want to emulate. And so that is why I am sure we have the confidence of the investment community to continue to come into our city, invest in spaces that are going to be great for people to live, work, shop, and play. And the best is yet to come. This entire area, our downtown area, South Avenue, North Avenue, the transformation is going to continue unabated. And I can guarantee you that just like some of you who haven't been here in a while and then you come back and you see what's happening, it takes your breath away. But wait for the next five or so years what you're going to see in plain field. You're not going to be able to recognize the city that was when you enter the city that would be. And so I am so happy, so blessed, so fortunate, so privileged to be given this opportunity by the residents of our city to lead this city at this time. And I am grateful to the members of the MAP administration who work very hard. It is important to surround yourself with decent, competent talent, people who know what needs to be done and how to get it done. And so I have been blessed not only with a great team of folks that have surrounded me, but with a governing body that has worked hand in hand with my administration to make sure that the progress that you have seen not only was initiated, but that it will continue. And the incentives that we know we need to give to developers, we will continue to do that in spite of the naysayers who would like to see a playing field of 25 years ago. Well, that's not going to happen under my watch. I am going to continue to do everything within my power to continue the transformation and to make sure that the spaces that we have here in this city 
are going to be inviting and that more and more people are going to want to come from other parts of the city to live in these great spaces, but that people will come from outside to be a part of what is happening here. And so that brings me to the conclusion. I love seeing all of you. I love the work product that I've seen so far. And I know that the Romantic Group, in partnership with Jay, Wayman, Henry, and so many others, are going to continue to do what's right by the city of Plenty. Thank you, and may God bless you. Now we'll hear from the leadership of our governing body, Council President Charles McRae. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Come on, we can do better than that. Good afternoon. We're sitting in a beautiful facility here. Let's act like we enjoy it. <laughs> um, I'm Charles McCray, President and Councilman of the Third Board. With me today, we have Councilman Robert Graham of the First Board, <laughs> Councilman Barry Good of the First and Fourth Board, Councilman Steve Hockaday, Councilman at Large, and Madam Vice President, Councilman Terry Big Jones of the Fourth Board. You know, it gives me great pleasure to be here and to see the opening of this facility. And you just heard the mayor give a great speech. You heard Zenobia give you a great speech, and then they expect me to give you one. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what someone told me one time long ago. One picture is worth a thousand words. So take a look at all that's around you, and you will be able to understand what the vision is for our city and how we must, as a government body, support that vision. And I see someone else that just snuck in here, an individual who was an instrumental part of bringing the Romani group to Plainfield, Ms. Valerie Jackson, our former <laughs> economic development director. And we also had Ms. Abby Levinson, our BA, sneaking here also. But living here for as many years as I had, I am very excited that we have the Romani group and we have a mayor that has a vision and that mayor's vision really is one that will take us beyond our own expectations. Sometimes you need a force to drive you, and our mayor is that driving force right now. So we must keep, as a governing body, behind that driving force to make sure it stays focused on what the end goal is. And that end goal is for us to prosper. So thank you, Ramani Good, for being part of that prosperousness that we are experiencing here in Blaisdell. Thank you. Thank you. Now we will hear from the man of the hour. I know he's nervous about speaking, so we're going to pump him up. Please welcome the man with the vision for we're going to have close to 1,400 units and a new lifestyle city within a city here in Ramadi. Man, this is not easy. <clears throat> Finally and officially, I can proudly say, welcome to City Village in Plainfield. <laughs> I want to start off by thanking my family and my dad especially, who is like a, a superman in my life. Uh, I, I could not have been standing here without his support, guidance, you know, strength, and his belief in me. You know, my wife, my Hamali, my son Vivan is here. You know, I want you guys to know you both are the single most important thing in my life. Everything else is secondary. <laughs> Moving on to the Queen City. Mayor Mack, thank you in helping our vision become reality. I'm thankful to your entire administration, especially Council President McRaw, the entire council, and 
and Zenobia from your office for making things happen in this city. I am committed in making Lanefield a destination. We've got a lot of work to do, and this is just the beginning. Now, last, last but not the least, I'm very grateful and thankful to every single person in this room standing here today. You know, many, many of you have been associated to, to some extent uh, with what I have done so far and where I'm at today, especially my team. I think they're spread everywhere here. You guys are such a good team to work with. Thank you for making this happen. You know, now, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to overwhelm you with my oratory skills. <laughs> so I brought this guy beside me who's gonna say a few things. And when I'm done with him, maybe I'll turn him over to you for public service. <laughs> Jay, get up here. Thank you guys for um, coming here and uh, hosting us and so forth. Um, I speak off the cuff, so I don't have anything really prepared, but I would like to first say um, to the mayor, um, his beautiful wife, and also to the council and Ms. Zenobia, who we've had a pleasure to work with. Um, my family has been in politics for over 55 years. Um, grew up in Queens and Baltimore. And from a father who was um, lieutenant mayor, a cousin controller, and basically a little baby brother who's now governor of that state and working with municipalities, I will tell you, um, development is very tough. It's cost us a lot of money. Uh, the relationships are not that easy to make. And so when you have a supportive council mayor and what you guys have done, because I've watched those council meetings, um, I served as chairman of economic development in other municipalities, and I won't mention that, but they don't do nearly a great job of what you do, and you might not always get along with one another, but for the betterment of the community, you guys have made a determination to work together. And so, first, let me thank you guys for that, because that's a hard thing to do. <clears throat> um, a little bit about this relationship. The relationship, and, and, it, and it goes to the people that are here that help work on this building that you don't see. One of, our, um, um, prop, um, one of our managers of construction, Junior, he couldn't be here, he's in surgery, but Alma and Anderson and Stacy and those individuals who help build and make this building, right? We look good, we talk on stage, but there are people who honestly we, we, we look to who support us. Um, when me and Haran courted each other for about eight months, uh, and, and we, we decided that we were going to do things collectively together. His first thing was, I said, okay, great, we're doing well, we're doing some studio projects, we're doing these things in Maryland, we're doing a great job. And he mentioned Plainfield to me. And I said, okay, why, why Plainfield? I wasn't familiar with Plainfield. Um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't honestly had any idea about Plainfield. I also knew that he had relationships where he could have built anywhere. And he said, no, I want to transform this place. I have a vision and I want to have legacy. And somebody who also is um, a direct um, biggest person to me is my father, is that there's something about tradition, there's something about fathers that we want to make them proud and we want to create, continue that particular legacy. Um, and so wasn't a hard sell um, of playing field once I got a chance to meet the people and understanding the heritage within itself. Some people look at that as ethnic or ethnicity, excuse me. Um, but it also means experiences. It also means um, culture. It also means things that bring people together. So we're hoping to create this space. Not only is it just to live, but to continue so that people of different mindsets different ideas, come together, and be able to live, work, play together in one area. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much, and look forward to seeing and meeting you guys after. Okay, so 
briefly, we're going to go down to the first floor, and we're actually going to cut the ribbon in front of the sign. It's going to, then we're going to come back up here. The Romani group has provided refreshments that are going to be available. I'm going to ask Stacy to raise her hand. She's out there. When we come back up, there's going to be availability of tours and to look at the different units. She's going to point us in that direction. So you can choose to join us for the ribbon cutting or you can enjoy the refreshments when we come back up. I want to make sure to recognize once again the prior director of economic development that brought me back to my hometown to do economic development, Valerie Jackson. She is going to join us for the ribbon cutting downstairs. Yeah. It's open!